we've arrived. All right. I will go to the Yashiro Commission now to inquire about Sayu's mission orders. In the meantime, please keep an eye on her. Sayu, you can start by warming up. Though you may often be difficult for me, I certainly will not abide any trouble for the Traveler. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. She's gone. Phew. No more work for today. <laughs> Actually, I invited you to come as a helper. No need to go into too much detail. The Shrine Maiden is terrifying. As soon as she picks up on my tracks, it's nearly impossible for me to shake her. But you are also super skilled, so maybe you can help me. Huh? You mean you won't rescue someone in a moment of dire need? All that goes on here is cruel and involuntary labor. Is it wrong to wish for ample rest? How else can I ever reach my growth spurt? I'm not being unreasonable. Don't you know? There are tons of benefits to sleeping. You can regain energy, clear your mind, pass the time, and escape from all your troubles. But most importantly, sleep helps you grow. And I've got plenty of growing to do. That's right. The other ninja can leap up tall trees in a single bound and pick the tasty fruit way up high. Being tall is the key to everything. All the other ninja my age are already way taller than me. Sensei told me that kids only have one chance to grow up, and that I'll miss my chance if I keep slacking off. Of course it is. Haven't you seen someone suddenly grow taller while they're sleeping? It happens all the time. Though, I guess it does sound silly when you think about it. Ugh, never mind. The longer I talk to you, the more you'll convince me otherwise. Besides, what's wrong with wanting a little more sleep? <sighs> See? I'm already crazy tired. Yeah, I suppose I haven't kept up with my duties. I'm sorry, but... <sighs> I really am getting sleepy. It's because my work is just too boring. Transporting documents, organizing the ninja tools. As long as I don't do the work, no one will come asking me to do it again. The higher-ups always give all the important tasks to more suitable operatives. They never even give me a second thought. Hmm... Now that you say that, I just had an idea. If you learn ninjutsu and help me with my tasks, then I can sleep peacefully and focus more on growing. Ninjutsu will come in super handy during your adventures. Don't worry, I'll personally teach you everything. If you work hard, then I'll work hard to teach you. See? This way, nobody's wasting time being lazy. <laughs> Thank you so much! See? You're the hero that protects Saya's nap time! We can start training as soon as the Shrine Maiden gets back. Oh! I'm honestly surprised to see you still here, Sayu. Unless... Is this some sort of trick? <sighs> the Traveler is interested in ninjutsu and wants to learn together. Is that so? Though it is strictly forbidden for some techniques to be taught to outsiders. But I suppose you are an exception in this case. Indeed, I did. I was able to determine that the Yashiro Commission had no intent of carrying out such a mission. They are now investigating the origins of these orders. Rest assured, the related personnel are all aware of the situation, and there should be no further threats to your safety. Well then, let us begin your ninjutsu training. Please follow us. I'll show you my favorite skill to practice. Basically, it's an escape technique. I use it to make a quick getaway whenever the Shrine Maid is after me. <sighs> All right, Sayu. Just leave the explanation to me. This is a technique to help ninja train their agility. When the unpredictable happens during a mission, 
Ninja must be capable of traversing a variety of terrains. During our training, we often set up obstacles on both sides of this stream and have Sayu make her way up the course. I often slipped when I was little and either found myself falling face first into the mud or getting battered as I tumbled down. So don't underestimate this little course of ours. It's not as easy as you think. Sayu may be exaggerating a little. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure you'll do fine. Yeah, go ahead and give it a try. <sighs> I'll guide you through it. Nice try, Sayu. You'll run the course first. Quickly now. Uh... Come now, no stalling. Give the traveler a proper demonstration. All right, all right. Leave it to me. Although Sayu doesn't usually exert her best effort, she does have strong ninja fundamentals. Do your best. I'll be waiting at the finish. Well, impressive. You really got some talent. If I were to rate your performance, I'd say you're like a strong, fast Mujina. Anyway, nicely done. I was rooting for you. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just happen to remember the words of my sensei. After each training session, sensei would give me a score and encourage me based on my results. Huh. I'm surprised you remember your sensei's words so clearly, Sayu. <laughs> but don't you think your sensei would disapprove of you copying their words? <laughs> no way. Sensei wouldn't be mad at all. Yep. Sensei said there were some important matters to attend to. Sensei told me that they hoped I would become a responsible ninja while they are away. You know, the kind of ninja everyone can trust. You remember your sensei's words, but you sure don't seem to act on them, skipping work all the time. Hey, I work hard. <sighs> when I'm not sleepy. It's just that this season is perfect for napping. I really can't help it. <sighs> The problem is that to you, every season is perfect for napping. Anyway, you've certainly handled the training well so far. The next exercise is live combat training. Let's go, shall we? Considering that you have yet to grasp the art of ninjutsu, we'll let Sayu demonstrate in combat first. This will be a prime opportunity for you to see her ninjutsu firsthand. Sure thing, just leave it to me. <clears throat> Let my example illuminate your path to ninjutsu. <sighs> there you go again, Sayu. You know, imitating what other people say is a poor habit. Sorry. Here we are. Now, please carefully observe Sayu's skills in combat. I'll do my best to make my ninjutsu a little easier to understand. <sighs> I'm tired. At least I didn't get my outfit dirty. So, did you pay close attention to my ninjutsu? Here, I'll teach you. First, you stretch your upper body a bit, do a little wiggle, and then turn yourself into a ball, like this. Huh? What's the matter? You don't want to transform into a ball? Don't worry, you might feel a little dizzy at first, but you'll get used to it. I thought you'd be able to catch on after seeing a quick demonstration. <sighs> anyway, I'm beat and need a good nap now. Hopefully I won't need to demonstrate that again. Ah, uh, yeah, that was my sensei's way of teaching. Very strong and patient. Which is a little too much work for me. Strong, responsible, and kind. Sensei never pushed me to do more work. Uh... Actually, after hearing myself say that, I suppose Sensei was a lot like you. Although you don't know ninjutsu like Sensei did, your other qualities are enough to make you my Sensei. Sure, Sensei's name was... Uh... What was it now? Huh? I guess I never asked. I just called them Sensei. I think Sensei was a ninja. 
Actually, Sensei never really mentioned it. Sensei's height... Hmm... They were taller than me. As for other qualities... Sometimes it's hard to tell from just appearances. But these details don't matter to me. Alright, that's enough idle chatter for now. If Sayu Sensei ever returns, I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet. As for our next exercise... Uh, wait! I'm not quite up to it yet. <sighs> I need to take a break first. We agreed on a break after every two exercises, didn't we? Remember? To keep training from being too forceful. Fine. Even if I did push you, I suppose you would end up napping on the field anyway. Go, have a rest. I shall wait for you here. Remember, no running off. Got it. Come with me, traveler. I'll take you to a nice place to relax a bit. Phew. Finally, time for a break. Just as I thought, exactly the same as before. Sensei knew that I was concerned about my height, so before leaving, Sensei measured my height and used the rope to mark it on the tree over there. Nothing is more satisfying than growing. At least, that's what Sensei told me. But even after all this time, not only have I yet to outgrow the rope, I think the rope is getting higher with the tree. <sighs> Maybe it's because I'm not sleeping enough. I get it, and that's exactly what I told Sensei at the time. But Sensei only laughed, though they didn't scold me at all. I guess Sensei had their own way of looking at things. I really couldn't tell what Sensei was thinking in moments like that. Do you have any idea what Sensei might have meant? That's okay, just say it. Either way, I'm sure you understand more than me. Hmm... Hmm... I think I understand now. I love to take naps under a tree, or hide in the shade, or eat some of its fruit. This is how the tree provides for me. I see... Okay, just wait here. Don't worry, I'll be right back. These fruits are for you. No, no. I get it now. Uh, how should I put it? Sometimes I think that the Shumatsuban is more trouble than it's worth. Everyone's trying to keep me from getting enough sleep and growing taller. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother sticking around with them. But every time I think about it, I can't help but remember Sensei's smile. And then I think of this tree. And my vision. Someday, this tree will also be shelter for a kitsune or some other animal. In the same way, someday, after I've grown nice and tall, I'll be protecting someone with my ninjutsu. I know. <sighs> Sorry. I guess I was hoping that I'd grow faster and that I could work hard. But it seems that I've already spent too much time trying to grow. If I gave up my dreams of growing tall, could I still fulfill everyone's hopes? I've always avoided asking myself this question. It just makes me feel a little nervous. And... I've yet to find an answer. I still don't know what to do. <sighs> I don't even know what I actually can do. But I thought that at least I can give you some fruit to eat. <laughs> You remind me of Sensei. You're kind, and can even understand what Sensei was thinking. So I thought I should at least show a little bit of enthusiasm. Huh? But wasn't I the one teaching you ninjutsu just now? Although... I'm sure you know a lot more about life than me. So I guess you could still count as my teacher in that regard. Oh yeah, you're right! I was getting a little carried away. Why don't we go practice a little more ninjutsu after our break is up? Today is one of those rare days when I feel super motivated. But never mind that for now. 
We've got lots of fruit to eat. Come on, take whichever you like. 